Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. pearls and gems and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to do a review on my June's ipsy bag I didn't have the opportunity to uh, get it up in June so before it's a bit too late I'm gonna go ahead and do a review on it right now so in the month of June they gave us these um, I guess I would say what type of material is this it's a thick material almost like wool and it just has a lip on the front, of course. You guys who have already watched previous videos of the Ipsy bag kind of know how it looks. But, you know, for those who haven't, you know, this is just a glimpse of how it looks. And then on the inside, it is just black as well. I love how they always do little creative designs with their um, zippers. This month, it's, it's more like a cloud. Well, not this month, but for the month of June. It is more like a cloud um, um, buckle. So, without further ado, let's get right into all the items that I received for the, the month. First item that I received was this uh, eyeshadow in Luna, and it is a marvel color. This is the packaging, and this is the actual shadow. Again, it's more like a neutral nude color. It doesn't come with a mirror or anything. It's really see-through. And um, do a quick swatch for you guys. So on my skin tone, it'll look a lot soft. So it's, it's a good uh, color to try and build with if you're trying to wear multiple shades and you need to build from a neutral color rather so like that again that is uh, Luna by Luna <laughs> the next item that I received in my Ipsy bag was this insanely intense tattoo waterproof eyeliner by Sharon and I received the liner before by this brand and uh what I there is the tip of it it's almost like a marker and here is a demo of how it swatches so yeah I'm just gonna do one so it's a really pitch black color and there's the velvety looking tip so like this the third item that I received was this trust Farm beauty nail polish and it is in game changer and it's like a orangey marbly color and the brush is a regular bristle brush I have to try this color out and tell you guys how I like it on my skin tone. Looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't think I received any nail polishes from Trust Fund. I think I've only received glosses, yeah, from them. I'm just looking at my nail polish rack and I only really see, yeah, that's Dermalek. That's Butter London. That's pretty lady. Okay, yeah, so I've never received a polish from this brand, only um, lip glosses. The next item, the fourth item that I received is this NYX Whipped Lip Butter. And it is just with a doe foot like so. Kind of like a, a heart shape, uh, teardrop tip rather. And it smells just like chocolate, cocoa beans. And actually it is called cocoa. 
it's called cocoa bean and it smells just like cocoa bean so this the is the four items item. that i received are these bio republic uh skin masks and one is in aloe rescue and the other one is in green tea detox so we're going to talk about these okay so with the first mask it is aloe rescue it is a revitalizing fiber sheet mask with vitamin e it is for all skin types it is dermatology tested formulated without parabens and it is cruelty free but this mask is unique because you actually use this whenever you come out of the sun so it's for all skin types and you basically just use it um as a, more of a brightener and it says smooth dry skin perfect for after sun use it provides immediate hydration for healthy vitalizing and lush skin so this is almost like a um i guess if you go to the beach come back and your skin is um feeling a bit dry from the sun and the wind and the you know everything that's going on in that environment that would be like it says aloe rescue it will come to your rescue and kind of give you that uh boost that you're looking for with your skin the next mask is a green tea mask it is a purifying fiber mask with vitamin e Again, this one is for all skin types. It provides a boost of antioxidants that helps remove excessive sebum. It reduces the appearance of blemishes and imperfections for clean, supple, and refined skin. And I like these types of masks as well because, um, again, build up from the environment and toxins getting into your skin. You kind of want to... Um, clear your skin so both of these would be um, masks to pick up for after sun and for detoxing during the summer months I mean you can probably use these year round but more so in the summer months when you're more prone to be in the sun for long periods of time and um, on more outings because you know it's more the weather rather is more um, I would say Usually when it's too hot, nobody really wants to be out. And when it's too cold, nobody really wants to be out. So during this, the transition between spring to summer and summer to fall, those are really the time periods where a lot of folks will probably find these um, masks handy and um, a good time period to use them for. So actually looking forward to you using those. This month's theme um, for the bag was volume up. And it just has two girls. We always get these um, postcards that kind of gives us how-tos and little um, snippets of what is inside of our Ipsy bags for the month. So I always thought these are cool because, you know, it just adds to the creativity of the subscription. And I always leave my cards. Sometimes I leave them inside of the bag or wherever I keep all of my bag, which currently is inside of one of my trunks. I just slide the card inside and whenever I want to use it or use the items inside, it gives me a little idea of how to use them and what to do with them if it's not listed on the brand's website, which it usually is. So those were the items that I received for the month of June. If you guys would like to receive a Ipsy subscription, I will leave my link below so that you guys can go ahead and subscribe to ipsy and enjoy everything that they have to offer i will do individual reviews um whenever i use them use these products or combine them within individual looks that i will do for you guys in the future so you guys would know um, my honest opinion on the product usage for the nail polishes it basically um for me i just look and see if the color is complementary to my tone other than that i just love nail polishes period and yeah so i like i said i'm looking forward to trying these items out and giving you guys my honest opinion but that was the end of my ipsy bag review for the month of june i hope you guys enjoyed it and again if you guys are looking forward to subscribing to the subscription my link is in the description box below and I hope you guys enjoy and have a blessed day. I will see you guys in my next video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Thumbs up this video and support me as I continue to bring you guys awesome reviews and content. And there is so much more to come. Have a blessed day. Bye. Baby. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> yeah.